in the year 20XX AD. A vicious army of robots is bent on destroying the world. And behind this destruction is... Proto Man! Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 5. This game was originally released in December of 1992. It's one of Mega Man's last forays on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's just a pretty good all-around good platformer in general, as far as Mega Man games go. I, mean, I played these games a lot as a kid, so it's hard for me to decide which ones I played the most back then. Because, I mean, I've played, you know, 2 is my favorite, 3 is pretty good. You know, 4, 5, and 6 are kind of like kind of a jumbled mess. I'm not sure which ones I prefer more. But anyway, instead of seeing the uh, intro sequence again, let's uh, get into the game itself. Basically, the story for uh, Mega Man 5, it's very bare bones compared to a couple of the other ones. Even the intro sequence is a bit sparse compared to, say, Mega Man 4. But basically, uh, Dr. White, Dr. Light has been kidnapped by Proto Man while all these other robots are going around destroying things, and Mega Man has to defeat them in order to figure out where Proto Man took Dr. Light. But anyway, for, for our eight robot masters this time, we have Gravity Man, we have Crystal Man, Napalm Man, Gyro Man, Star Man, Wave Man, Charge Man, and Stone Man. Yeah, the uh, people actually send in uh, character uh, robot master designs to Capcom for these games, and for Mega Man 5, they got about 130,000 entries to choose from. That, that's, that's a lot. It would probably be even more nowadays, actually, with the advent of the internet. So, I mean, people had to, like, draw these and stick them in envelopes and actually mail them out to Capcom's offices to actually do it back in the day. But anyway, I'm going to be doing things a little differently than my usual order when I play this game casually. Because I plan on defeating, just like in my uh, Mega Man 9 Let's Play, I plan on defeating all eight Robot Masters the first time using just the Mega Buster. So I'm going to do a special order since I don't have to worry about using enemy weaknesses. So I'm going to start things off with Gravity Man, which is what I would normally start off with anyway. Alright, we have Gravity Man. I like the theme to his stage, actually. I like a lot of the music in the Mega Man games. It's just, overall, it's one of the things that, even before I was consciously aware of enjoying video game music, it was just something I enjoyed. But one of the mechanics of this stage is that when you have those uh, flashing arrows there on the walls, it changes the gravity, causing you to go up to the ceiling. It also reverses your uh, D-pad controls, at least as far as up and down are concerned. And that is an extra life we got there. But yeah, if you want Mega Man to do the slide, you actually actually have to press up on the D-pad while you're on the ceiling to uh, do the sliding. And as you've been seeing, I've been charging up the uh, Mega Buster, which is uh, was introduced in Mega Man 4. And, ooh, that was nice. Uh, one up back there. I think the game is taking pity on me. I had a lot of difficulties in my uh, oops, in my practice runs of this game. So uh, the game. Ooh, hey, another one. I'll take it. I could I could definitely use the support there, game. I think the game's taking pity on me. There is such a thing as too much. But anyway, uh, you have the, uh, if you hold down the, uh, the firing button, yeah, I guess it's like A on the D-pad. I'm playing this on the Wii Virtual Console, by the way. Okay, I'm just gonna run. But we, if you hold it down, you notice how Mega Man's glowing. Well, you jump and you shoot, and he does a charge shot, the Mega Buster. And what's this M there? Let's get that. Yeah, I'll take that. So you pause, you see that we have uh, letters down below that uh, spell out Mega Man 5, with the Roman numeral for 5 there. We also have the Rush Coil if we ever need that, which will be soon enough. Maybe not this stage, but in later ones. Alright. Yeah, so the uh, Mega Buster can 
pretty much one shot a lot of uh, regular enemies. There are some enemies that you can defeat in one hit otherwise. Uh, I hate these guys. I forget what they're called. I was researching uh bad ah, nuts. No, I wasn't researching nuts, but I was researching some of the enemy uh, names in this game because I have the uh, 25th anniversary uh, uh, collector, the art book, like for Mega Man, Mega Man X. But anyway, we have Gravity Man. Oops. His basically thing is he uh, jumps from ceiling to floor, and you, you're basically on the opposite end as he is. So the only way you can really hit him with your Mega Buster is to wait until your paths cross. And periodically he'll sh take shots at you with his, uh, his Buster. Okay, we have some really loud vehicles outside. Hopefully that's not getting picked up on the uh, microphone. I should have closed my window before uh, I started recording, but it gets too hot in here otherwise. Alright, and Gravity Man has been defeated! One down, seven to go. So let's charge up, gather up whatever this is. We're basically acquiring his power. So we're spiraling around, went whirling, whirling, whirling towards freedom, and we got gravity hold. And if you want to play along, here's my password. So let's go to the next one. All right, we defeated Gravity Man, and since I'm going for a special order, who should I go after this time? I didn't mean to bounce. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that in this version, this game. Anyway, I'm going after Wave Man next. He's actually one of the tougher Robot Masters, so we're gonna get one of the, the harder guys out of the way early. Man, I really hope that truck in the background isn't getting picked up by my mic. I guess they're picking up, you know, it's the fall right now, so I'm thinking they're picking up leaves. By the way, here in Wave Man stage, we have these uh, little cracks in the floor. I guess these are like steam jets or something. For some reason, steam hurts Mega Man, even though he's a robot. And, uh, come on. Come on, ah, that's not ah, good. I'll take the hit. Luckily, these uh, ball and chain uh, things, the chain actually doesn't hurt you. I'm gonna jump up here, recharge. Yeah, you want to take this uh, tube here, because that way we can get another extra life. Because I don't want the game's pity, I'll find my lives on my own, thank you very much. Oh yeah, I... Ah, come on. I'm usually better than that. And this area was actually uh, reused in uh, Mega Man 10, or, or 9, Mega Man 9 for Splash Woman stage. Yeah, they were, uh, the only, the only difference was it was underwater and there were, like, fish enemies that would dart from the sides of the screen at you when you got to certain heights. I was actually expecting the fish to come flying out since I played Mega Man 9 not too long ago. Yeah, these little bubbles, they, uh, don't last very long. They pop once you, uh, jump on them. But yeah, so far the stage has been pretty sparse with enemies. But we're at the halfway point now. So let's go for a... Water crews. These enemies, I think they're just called Qs. I don't know, they're like little uh, buoy enemies. And we have uh, Rider Joes on those, uh, these little, uh, I don't know, what, are they, what do you call those, jet skis? Or something like that. Uh, we have some uh, dolphin enemies to round out the, the trio of foes here. All right, yeah. Fully charged, all right. And it's time for a mini boss battle against Octopur OA. So that's where the uh, ocean went. Uh, that's I don't I don't think anybody's really gonna get that joke. Maybe like one or two of you. But yeah, like most uh, Mega Man enemies, you just have to shoot them in the weak spot and take care of them. All right. Kind of getting an assault from all sides. Ooh. I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there. Right, I gotta pay attention to what's going on. There's gonna be a point where there's gonna be two uh, two of the uh, dolphins jumping at the same time. I think that's the next one. Yep. And I got the E. All right. Got myself another letter. 
Woohoo, all right, the game's still taking pity on me. At this rate, the next le next stage, I'll probably get maxed out of my lives if I don't screw up and die at any point. All right, and there we go. We got Wave Man stage. If you really want to, if you want to, you can actually farm uh, drops from those uh, red pellets that that cannon thing shoots out. But uh, I don't think it's necessary for me because anything I really need at this point, it won't drop. Ooh. But yeah, Wave Man, he, ah, crap. He does basically two uh, things. He jumps, he has a spout of water shoot out of the ground that functions as a shield, and he fires his uh, harpoon at you. Oh, crap. I'm in bad shape here. Ah, uh, come on. Getting a little nerve wracking here. Got him! Alright, Wave Man is down. That's two down, six to go. That went. A lot easier than I expected it to, actually, even though I I guess that technically I am close to dying. One more hit from his uh, body probably would have finished me off. But alright, we're whirling towards freedom for everlasting peace. And we got the water wave. And next time on Let's Play Mega Man 5, we will tackle the next two Robot Masters. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.